That would really be a game changer. How soon are we expecting this? And is this even feasible? Just announced these new batteries yesterday, and we're still waiting for a lot of details to come out. The automobile world is fast becoming electrified, and that means one thing. There's an increased demand for more battery power. Lithium-ion batteries have dominated the electric vehicle sector for many years. However, they have become increasingly expensive and suffer a few challenges that force battery manufacturers to rethink other options. Given the natural abundance of sodium, which translates to low production costs, battery manufacturers are slowly warming up to replacing lithium with sodium ions. One such manufacturer is CTL, the world's leading battery maker, which unveiled its first EV-specific sodium ion battery in 2021. In 2023, Chinese battery manufacturer CL and Boya are setting the pace by making more sodium ion battery, or SIB, systems, and so far several other battery manufacturers are following swiftly. That has seen a constant rise in fear in the hearts of lithium battery manufacturers who are worried about their historic dominance ending. Are the concerns justified? Can sodium ion batteries replace the dominant lithium ion? I shall answer this question in this video. But first, I will explain what a sodium battery is, its operating principle, its pros and cons, and how it compares with a lithium ion battery. A sodium ion battery, or SIB, is a rechargeable battery that utilizes sodium ions as its charge bearer. So instead of having a lithium cathode like lithium ion batteries, it features a sodium based cathode. The SIB operating principle is similar to lithium ion batteries, but the materials differ. The battery system features a cathode, an anode, an electrolyte, a pair of current collectors, and a separator. First, the cathode and anode are the points at which electrodes flow out and in, respectively, while the electrolyte is the dissolving fluid that circulates energy throughout the battery system. Usually, the electrolyte carries the energy-powered electrons from cathode to anode and vice versa via the separator. Meanwhile, the circulating sodium ions create a positive charge at one current collector, allowing current to flow through the battery power device to another. That is how a sodium ion battery works in simple terms. Sodium ion batteries promise several benefits, which is why more and more battery manufacturers are considering the technology. Number one, low production cost. Sodium is abundant, and you can even get in the sea. That's unlike lithium, and for that reason, its production cost is cheaper. What, however, hasn't translated to low-cost batteries yet? I'm using the word yet because the production can't automate the current demand due to issues like fuel production facilities and manufacturers primarily found in China. But given how fast the technology has gathered pace in recent years, the production will surely catch up with the demand, significantly dropping sodium ion battery prices. Number two, low safety risk. Sodium ion operates at a higher temperature range. That means it can be utilized at more extreme temperatures without risking a thermal runaway. That's unlike lithium ions. The other thing is that sodium is less chemically active, which means the risk of mixing and reacting and possibly causing a fire is lower. So if you're looking for a battery for your EV that is less likely to overheat and catch fire, you can't look beyond sodium ions. Number three. Faster charging. Physically, sodium ions are slightly big in size, which means the ions can collect charge much faster. In that case, it is quicker to charge a sodium ion battery, making them such a perfect candidate for EVs. In fact, it takes about 15 minutes to charge a sodium ion battery up to 80%, while it takes 20 to do the same on a lithium ion battery. So for ultra fast charging advantages, sodium ion batteries have the upper hand. Wait a minute, I know you're enjoying this video. What about you give me a thumbs up by liking it? Then subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our latest epic videos. Let's continue. Sodium ion batteries are not perfect though. They have some drawbacks worth considering, which include the following. Number one, bulkier. Sodium ions are slightly larger and that makes them bulkier. That's unlike lithium ions, whose lightweight makes them a fantastic choice for EVs. That could also explain why some EV manufacturers still hesitate to embrace the technology. Number two, shorter cycle life. 
Sodium ion batteries generally have a cycle life of about 5,000 times, which is not bad. However, if we compare that to commercial lithium ion batteries, whose life is about 8,000 to 10,000, there is a clear difference. So lithium batteries give you a longer cycle life, less energy density. Number three, less energy density. Sodium ion batteries are less dense, meaning they have a lower storage capacity. So while a sodium ion battery will charge faster, it's likely to run out more quickly because of its lower storage capacity. For that, you may have to recharge this more often. Sodium ion battery compared to lithium ion battery. If I can briefly take you back to your chemistry class, sodium and lithium belong to the same group in the periodic table, group one, also known as the alkali metals. For that reason, they have many physical properties in common. But even so, their chemical properties differ, mainly due to their positioning on the table. Therefore, the performance of a sodium ion battery differs from that of a lithium ion battery. Here's generally how the two batteries compare. Availability. Lithium is only found in small amounts in hard rock and brine deposits, making it a less available metal. On the contrary, Sodium is readily found in seawater and other natural sources, making it more abundant. In fact, sodium is 500 times more abundant than lithium. Wait, sodium ions are bulkier than lithium, making lithium the better choice for the most portable batteries. So in comparing both battery types, you'll more likely lean towards lithium, the third lightest metal on the periodic table after hydrogen and helium. Cost, due to its abundance and availability, the cost of producing sodium ions is low. In the long run, that will translate to more affordable batteries. As I hinted earlier, since few companies run in this segment, the cost of sodium batteries hasn't dropped yet, but there are indications it will. Safety. Sodium is easily shipped at zero volts, making it much safer on a thermal runaway than lithium, which can overheat and cause a fire. The other thing is that sodium has a lower environmental impact than lithium, and that's what most EV car manufacturers are after. In terms of storage, lithium requires minimum charge storage to avoid safety risks. Since sodium ions are big, their onboard charge storage capacity is much lower. In that case, they're less likely to hold energy for a longer time. And that's where lithium ions have a massive advantage. Lithium ions are slightly smaller increasing their onboard charge storage capacity. Charging. A lithium ion battery will take longer to charge than its sodium ion counterpart. Charging speed. As I mentioned earlier, sodium ions enjoy faster charging because of how much bigger the ions are than lithium.